Quick Fix, and this is Mini Fix. Hi. And today we are testing our water quality. We've lived here for about 14 years, and uh, we started to notice in the last few months that our water seems to taste a little funny, and sometimes it's a little cloudy, or there's little flecks in it, which is really gross. And um, Two things. How are you able to tell, and two, why the different sizes? Why the different sizes of what? Of the testing kit? Here. Oh, okay. Well, if you look on the back of these, okay, so this kit comes with... A, uh, one of these little things where you're going to compare the colors to what you test in your uh, out of your water sample, which is going to go in here. So you basically you can put do, it in, and when you take it out, it... Yeah, yeah, and there's instructions that come with it. This, there's a copper test, there's an iron test, and there is um, six other tests, which include pH, alkalinity, chlorine levels, etc. Okay, so fill the plastic tube to the etched line with the water sample. Dip strip. Dip the strip for two seconds. Can I dip it in? You sure can. One, two, back up. Okay. The total hardiness, let's see. What color do we think that is? Do you think it's zero? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, total chlorine right there. Is one. Okay. Next one, alkalinity. The next one, between 40 and 80. pH, between six and seven. After 30 seconds, read the last two. All right, so they look like they're in, they, those both look like they're in the okay range too. Copper test. Wait 15 seconds. Oh yeah, wait 15 seconds. And then 13. What's up? 15. <laughs> what kind of counting was that? Okay, let's see. I think it's about 0.3. You think it's at 0.3? Or it says the copper levels are okay. Iron test. Dip strip for two seconds, remove with pads face up, and shake once to remove the excess water. Wait 60 seconds. <laughs> Waiting for 60 seconds for the test to be finished. I think it's at zero. So I think the iron parts per million is good too. Ooh, okay. Iron bacteria test. Iron bacteria can produce a sticky slime in the water, cause an unpleasant taste, and smell like sewage or rotten, rotten vegetation. However, back, iron bacteria poses no health risk. Oh, now you hear bacteria and you think health risk. <laughs> okay. Fill a clear glass with cold water. Allow any sediment to settle at the bottom. Sediment has a feathery appearance. Iron bacteria is present. If the sediment has a rusty powder, iron bacteria is not present. But one other thing that this test talks about is uh, the presence of hydrogen sulfide in your water. There's not a test strip for it. You just look for that rotten egg smell and apparently that means you have hydrogen sulfide in your water. This does not actually say whether or not hydrogen sulfide is harmful. It calls it a nuisance, so I'm guessing it's probably not harmful. But also, having retained very little from high school chemistry, I'm not totally sure about pH in water and what's good and what's not good. There's been a lot of different stories around about that, so I'm going to go take a look and do some research online and get right back to you. To the Google! pH levels in your water should be between 6.5 and 8.5. If it's higher than 8.5, it's considered alkaline, which can sometimes not be good for you because there's not the essential nutrients in it that uh, your body needs out of water. If it's below 6.5, then it's considered acidic, which isn't really a problem per se, except for the fact that acidic water tends to corrode uh, your pipes a lot more and can leach out some of the uh, minerals like iron and copper and lead. Now the test we just did tested for iron and copper. It did not, however, test for lead. That takes a totally separate test. Now, since the mid 80s, there has been safety regulations in place to reduce and eventually eliminate the amount of lead that's used in plumbing. Now this includes the pipes that lead all the way from the water treatment facility all the way into your home. So theoretically, lead should not be a problem in your house, especially if your house is a newer home or in a new, newer developed area of the United States. Luckily for us, this house is fairly new. Nothing like a little chemistry lesson on Wednesday afternoon. Y'all have a great day and look for my next video on Chick Fix. Mm -hmm.